Middle Eastern men are going under the knife to get mustache transplants. Look, wait a minute. It, what kind of self-respecting Middle East man can't grow their own mustache? Okay, and that's probably the problem here, right? Yes. They probably feel insecure because they're like, oh my God. I mean, a real man has a really cheesy looking mustache. No, but that's kind of amazing. You know, I, I saw that Morgan Spurlock film, uh, Mansum, and how you know men are using their facial hair as as you know their unique quality, right? Uh, the way that they stand out, the way that they express themselves, and it's interesting because in the United States you have a mustache and you're like a 1970s porn star. In 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 the <laughs> Middle East you have a mustache and it means you're wise. It means that you're strong. It means that you're a man. Right? And, and it means that you're intelligent. That's, that's the amazing thing. That a mustache <laughs> means that you're intelligent. How can somebody with a mustache be considered intelligent? <laughs> no, but it's funny to put those, connect those two. Like, what does a mustache have anything to do with being intelligent? Um, so, Jesus has a mustache, of course, for Movember, right? And uh, as a lot of the guys do here at the studio. Jesus, you're going to love the Middle East, man. It's Movember every month. All year long, I guess. Yeah, uh, there you go. And I, I can't believe this would get me laid in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> it would have gotten you laid in the 70s, and it would get you laid in the Middle East. Well, <laughs> I guess it shows you that the Middle East is still stuck in the 70s. Well, that's actually not that bad a point. And look, uh, my own home country, Turkey, is uh -huh. the classic example of this. Yes, can I please delve into the details a little bit? By so, all means. so yes, uh, Turkey, Turkish men love the mustache, uh, and apparently there's a Turkish plastic surgeon who's making a ton of money by doing these must mustache transplants. Now, the way that they do it is similar to the way they do like the hair plugs, right? Where they'll find a hairy part of your body, they'll take the hair follicles from there, and then they'll implant into the place where you want hair. A right? lot of times, it's your ass. So how's that funny? You, you, no you, way. Sometimes that happens. It's, and now look, if you're having trouble growing uh, hair on your lip, you might also have trouble gro growing it on your ass. But in some cases, I've read that they take it from your ass. Then how do you like that? I will be more manly. I will take a part of my ass and put it on my face. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't know that. Okay, but um, this Turkish plastic surgeon says that he does 50 to 60 mustache transplants per month. Isn't that amazing? That is crazy. And a lot of Turkish I can't believe men. I can't believe there's 50 or 60 Turkish guys who can't grow a mustache. <laughs> that is kind of amazing, right? <laughs> and uh, a lot of Turkish men want to look like uh, this singer named Ibrahim. Ibrahim Tatlases. Yes, that's the guy. We have okay. a picture of him. Okay, who wants to look like this guy? Come on, come on. Uh, look, this is a, maybe the most famous singer in Turkey in, in my lifetime. There's been a couple others, Zeki Muran, Bülent. Uh, uh, so, etc. But so this guy, man, this guy is old school, okay, and he's gotten a lot of trouble for old school violence and the guns, etc. But look at that, man. That is a mustache, and that guy is proud, and he has a swagger too. You should see him on TV. He's like, okay, and you know his last name, Tatlises. You know what it means? It means sweet voice. Oh. And he's a top singer in Turkey. Yeah. yeah. Coincidence? I mean, Perhaps not. <laughs> and by the way, another person who has a pretty badass mustache that I always forget about is my dad. Oh, really? My dad has a pretty. Oh, oh, that's a hilarious old picture. <laughs> that's just nothing but funny. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a man. He don't need no <laughs> mustache transplant. All right. So that's funny. And of course, yeah. a lot of the leaders in the Middle East, including Erdogan, the leader of Turkey and unfortunately Assad, the leader of Syria, Abbas, the leader of the Palestinians in, in the West Bank, etc., uh, have mustaches, so people are like, that's how you, on the flip side, Saddam Hussein had a mustache. Yeah. No, it didn't work out too well, okay. But it is funny and interesting how different the cultures can be and how different our perceptions can be. Uh, but now, to be fair, I've lived in both cultures. I was born in Turkey, mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't think it looked cool back then either. <laughs> Like when I was growing up in Turkey, everybody had a mustache and I still didn't get it. 